<laughs> Don't look so worried. We're not gonna die. I promise you that. Next is PW-01408. That's you. We will now begin the Age Aptitude Test. Please try to relax. Stage 1. Inducing Ashblight Corruption. <laughs> Ashblight Corruption has been confirmed. Progressing to stage two, mounting God Arc. <laughs> Progressing to stage three, final stage, implanting adaptive oracle cells. Subject's vitals have returned to normal. Aptitude is positive. Congratulations. The process is complete. You are now an adaptive God Eater. So you survived. Grade A. Oh, I haven't seen your kind around here before. How does it feel to give up your humanity? <laughs> Hey, don't go and croak on us, okay? Your life belongs to the port now. You're of no use, dead. Here, I'm gonna need you to sign this contract. Come on. Let's go. Hey, you okay? You seem pretty out of it. Bad dream or something? Anyway, rise and shine. I went ahead and asked about our next job. It's in a pretty thick spot. Looks like there's not too much time left for you and me, huh? Fighting an ash this thick will ruin a body in no time. And if we can't work, well, I doubt the folks at the port will want to look after us. Eventually, we're either going to run out of the bias factor we need to live, or we'll end up as origami snacks or bait, and that'll be that. A time-honored end for ages like you and me. Yeah, well... That's not gonna happen to us. I promise. After all, we've got too much riding on our shoulders. We'll keep going for the ones we couldn't save. It's a vow I made to them all. I'm never going to give up, no matter what happens. So, that's that. We are not dying. The two of us will keep moving forward. On to whatever tomorrow brings. Damn it! I can't see! Where is it? Where's the origami? Our lines are crossed. What team are you with? Requesting salvage! Please! I don't want to die! Forget them. They're already origami, Chow. You've got your own jobs to do, so get to them. 
Hurry up and let us loose. I am now releasing the restraints on Pennyward Ages Hound 1 and Hound 2. Alright, you dogs. Sick them. I'm limiting your operation area. If you try to do any moonlighting, well, you know what happens. Yeah, we know. Shall we? We'll make it out of this. Don't worry. Everyone made it back okay. A good result for us. We might do as the port folks want. Work ourselves to the bone. Get dragged to hell and back. But that doesn't mean we're willing to give up our lives without a good fight. A place where ages can live out their lives without being controlled or pushed around by anyone. That's what we need, right? Took the words right out of my mouth. Ugh, ouch! <laughs> the guards went to town on you this time, didn't they? Bet that hurts. You never do as you're told, huh? Bet it's hell getting teamed up with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were back from patrol, Zeke. Yep, that's right. All done with my work for today. Listen, man, next time you should come out with me. Come on. I thought you were smarter than that. Having a chance to work with the Zeke Pennyworth should be enough to make you weep for joy. <laughs> Maybe you should mention how good you are. Hugo's always so by the book. It must have been boring out there with him. Come on, I'll show you a real cool trick next time. This isn't a sport, Zeke. Look, I know that. You think I don't know that? Anyway, did you hear the recent news? One of the other teams was saying that a port nearby got swallowed by the ash. That's the first I've heard of it. But it's not exactly news for ports to get engulfed by the Ashlands. Sure, it's no surprise when it's some base somewhere. But how will you feel when the ash is creeping closer and closer? Are you talking about an ash storm? Yeah, well, if one of those ash storms does come through, it's not like there's a whole lot we can do other than strap in and pray, right? Yeah, that's about the size of it. Though, even then, riding one out isn't all that realistic. Looks like everyone's gone to bed. I hope they can at least have some pleasant dreams to enjoy while they're sleeping. It gets so quiet at night. So, how's the new density level? <laughs> well, I guess knocking origami around is fun when you're in the moment. But if there are still survivors out there, well then it was worth fighting. It's a small thing, but I don't want to sell my soul and lose my freedom to act according to my own will. I guess it seems kind of funny. We might die tomorrow and leave nothing behind. But I'll keep waiting. Someday, a path towards something new will open for us. An ash storm, huh? <coughs> oh, sorry. It's nothing, really. I'll be fine after I rest a little while. I'm fine now. <laughs> Thanks. Hugo told me not to get up or move around too much. But I don't like just sitting around and being waited on by everyone. <laughs> I just think I should do whatever I can to help. Thanks. Just don't wear yourselves out, okay? No good loot again? Ugh, man, there's been nothing recently. That's the price of your behavior. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> well, shall we get going? This is a caravan calling all agents! What's that? A 
there's an accident to better be in the area. It's an attack upon Pennywood. An open channel? Who and where is that from? We can't make out what you're saying. What in... Huh? That's definitely an ash storm. And it's definitely headed toward our port. Damn it. Talk about some bad timing. There's no way we can outrun it from here. But what about everyone at the port? What'll happen to the kids there? Calm down. We'll manage something. We're not going to stand by and let our friends get wiped out. This is a caravan calling all ages. I repeat, this is a caravan calling all ages. There is an ash storm developing. Ages here. What's the status of the storm? We read you. We'll talk later. For now, we need you to clear out the origami in our path. Why should we do that? I said we'll talk later. Now hurry up and do it. If it's your fee, we'll pay whatever the cost. We don't have time to negotiate. We're on our way to evacuate the port. Every second counts. Understood. Moving out. There are aged children at the port who will need help. You have to get them out of there. I promise you we'll get them out. Good luck out there. Caravan out. I guess this is our chance. Come on. Everything changes. Starting now. to see a new future. Everyone will. left behind at the port is now under our care. Ricardo's information was spot on. It seems the ages who were left behind were all left inside a room like a prison. There were a number of young kids with them there too. It's awful. How could people have sunk so low? There. I've sent them the rendezvous coordinates. They're planning to meet up there. But, are you sure it was a good idea? Offering to pay any price if they clear the way? Probably. They don't strike me as the kind who would trade their lives for cash. Pardon me, but that's... not much of a strategy, ma'am. I know that. Change heading 180 degrees. Get as far away as we can, now! It's an ash storm! Pleasure to meet all of you. Welcome to our caravan. This is the Ashcrawler Chrysanthemum. I'm her owner, Hilda Enriquez. We made it in time, thank goodness. I'm Hugo Pennywort. Handling that origami problem wouldn't have been an easy task, even under the best of circumstances. And that means you're a talented bunch. Would you mind filling all of us in on the situation here? That will come in due time. You've created a real opportunity for us to work with. Won't you let me express our gratitude? You saved our friends. 
That's enough for me. Yes. However, that is only a temporary measure, as I'm sure you're well aware. Huh? Reassigning ages requires the permission of both the governor of the port and Gleipnir. You do know that, do you not, Hugo? If that's the reason you can't keep us all here, don't worry about it. Being alive is what counts. But do you really have to be so formal? Ma'am, we've completed our survey of the port that was swallowed by the ash. Despite our efforts, we have been unable to establish the whereabouts of the port's management. I'm sure they fled. I saw ships moving away in the distance. Hmm. That would explain it. There were some ships that made unregistered departures. Fools, leaving without notifying anyone. If the ash storm drags them in... That's what they get for leaving kids to die. Zeke, don't. What? You're gonna tell me you're not pissed at him too? Regardless, it still doesn't make me happy. Ma'am, the ash density levels are rising again. Staying any longer would be hazardous. You now represent your port, Hugo. Under Ashland Navigation Law, I place you under my protection and transfer you to our port. Understood. Our services are yours during the voyage. In exchange, though, we don't want your everyday drudgery tasks. <laughs> You've got a spine. Very well. You can be our front runners and keep our route free from interference. That's fine by us. Once we're out there, you'll see we're not your run of the mill ages. How a caravan route works? We use areas of low density as reference points and then just travel along the connected dots? You've got it down. Just repeating what I learned from the database. There was an old but reliable route through here previously. The beacons, however, have all gone dead. Knocked out by that ash storm. This crawler has a pretty small crew for its size, doesn't it? I can't afford to hire very many people. Resources and bias factor supplies aren't what they used to be. I see. So you decided to bring us on to do a little work for you. Right, and I can assure you you'll be compensated. Yeah, well, a weekly allowance isn't going to cut it. If we can reestablish the old route, we'll be able to claim Pioneer royalties. A cut of those royalties will go to you. Does that sound fair? We're the ones who will be out there risking our necks, so I'd say 70% should go to us. Huh. 30% for us? The rewards are split amongst the entire crew. That's outrageously unfair. Well, what do you think? Talk is cheap. Is it a deal, Hugo? Let's not be hasty. What do you say to 50-50? I know you've got some serious cargo. You're sure to rake in a hefty profit from that, Hilda. <laughs> fine, fine. Half of the royalties. We have a deal. You're free to roam the crawler, though some locations may be restricted. We do have our secrets. Compared to ourselves, it's paradise. Glad to have you all aboard. I'm looking forward to continuing our work together. Welcome aboard the Ashcrawler Chrysanthemum. Let me introduce myself. My name is Amy Chrysanthemum, and I serve as an operator on this vessel. Um, so, this is the mission counter. We post tasks that need to be performed in order to clear our course. So, in short, you're saying if we want a job, then this is the place to go? Yep, that's right. In fact, it looks like something was posted just now. But we have a bit of a snag. A snag? That's right. Continuing on our course would be like crossing a rope bridge blindfolded. So what? You just walk forward. The snag is there's something chewing on the ropes. Caravans that conduct their operations within the Ashlands are invariably equipped with resonance radar. It tracks local ash levels and origami. It serves as our eyes and ears, giving us an advantage over potential threats. We have one on the mum, of course. 
Essentially, if our resonance radar isn't providing us with that data, it's a big problem. One of life or death magnitude. Is yours malfunctioning? As the name suggests, the radar uses resonance, so it needs someone with high resonance skill to operate it. We need a God Eater who can also function as a navigator. However, our previous navigator was incapacitated in the Ash Storm, and currently we have no other candidates in our staff. Navigator, huh? I like the sound of that. Let me give it a try. Amy, go ahead and bypass the authorization system. Okay, it's open. How was I? No. Insufficient range. Maybe a two mile radius? Too small to keep us safe. No! I could give it a shot. I don't think you have the aptitude, Hugo. Not one iota. It's tougher than I thought. Our regular navigator was born with a high resonance capability. However, they had training to see up to a 20 mile radius as well. Hmm. So resonance ability is the key, huh? If one of us can be contracted as a navigator, we should be able to renegotiate royalties. Sound like a workable deal to you, Hilda? So you know, I don't pay for slipshod work. Of course not. Here, give it a try. Ma'am, take a look at the display. I've never seen anything like this. That's ten. No, a hundred miles. Wait, it's still expanding. What? You've got to be kidding! This is unreal! Did... did you do this? <laughs> My friend has always had a real knack for resonance. So, does that solve our problem? Switching to departure sequence. Energy flow from the main accumulator has been established. Now sealing ash bulkhead layers one and two. Resonance radar navigation link complete. Harmonization rate at 30, 60, 100%. Oracle sensor system is green. Ash density along our plotted course is 0.02 ppm with intolerance. The ash bulkheads are sealed. Activating the whole bias field barrier. All systems are reading green. The chrysanthemum is ready to depart. There's no turning back now. Are you certain about this? Yeah. I never planned on turning back anyway. This is the start of a big adventure. We're more than sure. We're pumped. <laughs> it's good to see that kind of spirit. Crawler Chrysanthemum, casting off. What's this? I was just wondering if it's a common occurrence to find God Eaters from Gleipnir traveling with caravans. I suppose you're keeping an eye on some cargo back there, is that right? The area up ahead is under Gleipnir jurisdiction. I cannot allow you to proceed. Meaning that whatever you've got stowed up there is a special delivery for Gleipnir. Ugh. Are you okay? So tell me, what's your name? 
Glipe near 6th Engineering Battalion, Special Transport Unit, Claire Victorious. You can just call me Hugo Pennywort. The owner told me about you. It seems you helped with clearing our route. Understand that while I do applaud the work you've done, I cannot approve of any frivolous actions you take in the field. Don't expect to garner any special favor for it. Great, a teacher's pet. <laughs> I'm only doing the job that I was assigned. If we're in combat together, I will be trusting you to perform. Huh? It... it was nice meeting you. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna get along after all. It's a pleasure to meet you too, Claire. Don't worry about it. I'm just feeling a little motion sick, that's all. <laughs> but fighting Aragami is a lot worse, right? I'm not big enough to fight yet, but... See? I can scrounge up cool stuff like this. It feels like you've waited forever, but once things start moving, it all goes pretty quick. I mean, just look at where we are now. You remember what I was saying earlier? After all that time locked up, we're finally outside. And now our first problem rears its ugly head. What do we do with ourselves now that we're here? <laughs> Time's up. I made up my mind a long time ago. From this point forward, we're living in a world driven by action. We'll have to buy back our freedom by fighting. Absolutely. After that, we'll build a port of our own. It'll be a place where people can help each other and work toward their dreams. But I'm gonna need a lot of help from you. Are you on board for this? You're a rock. Seriously, this means a lot. Well, let's go give the kids the good news. They have nothing to be afraid of anymore. It might be a lie now, but it'll be okay if we make it the truth someday. Remember, you're my accomplice in all this. Let's make sure we see it through, huh? Is this the place? Yes. Any visual? There! Claire, wait! is on it, and an experienced one at that. Just stay back and provide support. Is this some damn circus? Gotcha! Activate. with this weirdo Let me speak with your commander. Ma'am, this is a video of their battle. An acceleration trigger. They've already got a practical model. 
Establishing a communications link with Hugo. Hilda, I'm putting our attacker on. She wants to talk. Go ahead. I am a barren age. Codename, Lulu. I was left stranded here by my vessel during a mission, and I am requesting transport back to Baron. You gave us a rather rough greeting, don't you think? I understand. I apologize for the incident. However, I intend you no harm. I'm not gonna take that one. You should know, I held myself back. It's the only method we're taught. First, I'll make contact with Baron to confirm your identity. It may take a little time to do that. I assume you can wait while I do? That's fine. We have a response from Baron. According to their message, they say they have no record of an age named Lulu on their files. So, who is she then? <sighs> Amy. What's the ash density in this area? Checking. Um, 0 0.008 ppm. That will give us about 10 minutes. Open the hatch. I'll talk with her directly. Understood. Opening the... hatch. Wait, what? Hey, what the hell are you doing? He is a member of my crew. Could you do me a favor and let him go for me? I... I already told you, you're taking me to Baron. There doesn't seem to be an age named Lulu. Huh? I've searched every record we have, and contacted Baron as well. But everywhere I check, I get the same result. No person named Lulu exists. That... No, that can't be right. I mean... I was just on a mission. I'm sorry, but you're... I see. So... What the heck's going on? I... I've been... cast aside. If there are no objections from any of you, I'd like for her to join our crew. Are you sure it's safe to have her? I mean, I'm fine with it, but... She doesn't have any place to go home to now, does she? I say go for it. She's strong and effective in combat. For an age, there's nothing more important than that. Hey, hey! I want a chance to analyze that acceleration trigger! I agree with Madame Hilda, though I guess that's nothing new. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Now all that remains is to see what her will is on this matter. Hmm... Her will, huh? Seems pretty messed up to drop that kind of choice on an age with her strict training. Right? Whoa! You're way too serious. I'm with our friend here. No matter what the situation you find yourself in, your future is your own choice. Oh, I see. That actually does make sense. That's what freedom really is, isn't it? Then I'm free? My will. I have nothing to offer. Like the others said, it's up to you to decide on your own path in life now. If you've come here, then you've already made a choice, haven't you? 
Hmm. Is it all right if I stay with you? <laughs> Heck yeah! I'm not gonna let a chance like this slide. That acceleration trigger you have? Let me give it a try. Huh? Well, it's not finished. Then we will assist you in completing it. Let's say you contribute your skills and tech in exchange for a warm bed. Does that sound like an acceptable deal? Are you sure? <laughs> okay, then let's get the party going. We're gonna play cards all night. How's your poker game? Um, okay. I know the rules. The party is on! Eh, sorry, friend, but I'm going to bow out of this one. I just can't wait to take a peek at that acceleration trigger. Seriously, you're always such a wet blanket. Get with the program, will ya? After you, friend. After you. Huh? Well, everyone else is obligated. Got it? <laughs> if we have to. <laughs> It'll be a nice change of pace. We did it! We finally did it, Zeke! Acceleration trigger analysis is complete! Man, that was quick. Did you stay up all night? It's the thing Lulu was using, right? What the hell is it, anyway? I'm so glad you asked. Simply put, an acceleration trigger initiates a process. Oracle potential energy is drawn forth from the Oracle cells within a God Arc user's body. When certain stresses are applied to the cells, then transferred to a booster within their armlet, which then amplifies the effect of the energy, instantly boosting the user's capabilities by creating a God Arc wielder feedback loop, resulting in an Oracle Cell subjective stimulation system. Simply put, it'll unlock the energy in your Oracle Cells for an extra boost of power when you do certain things during combat. Wow, those folks in Baron are working on some remarkable stuff. So, these oracle cells we have in us are real scary, huh? Yeah, I'd say they qualify as real scary. If you overactivate them, they'll eat your body from the inside after all. Do you have to look so happy about it? Well, you don't have to worry as long as you don't pull anything funny. The one Lulu brought in was improperly calibrated, which is dangerous. But never fear. I'll make sure the ones on your god arcs are up to spec. Huh? But you just finished analyzing them. You gonna install them already? I mean, I know I said I wanted one, but... <laughs> the more weapons you have at your disposal, the longer you can survive. Right, friend? <laughs> Come on. You're kidding, right? I've made sure to install the safest, simplest version so you can try it out the next time you're in a fight. There's already a mission set up and everything. No glitches, right? To encounter one in a place like this. I suppose we should count ourselves lucky that we spotted it before it spotted us. Is that an Ash Origami? Yes. They're a new type of Origami that appeared with the Ashlands. They're a whole new breed of monster. Just a scratch from one of them will kill you. They devour in a completely different way from regular origami, too. They rob God Eaters of their resonance ability and explosively amplify their own oracle cells. They can also enter a burst state in the same way that you God Eaters can. Lethal and inescapable. That sums up Ash Origami. There's only one thing we can do now. Pray. Just hope to high heaven we don't ever have to engage one of them. <sighs> response. It's an Ash Origami. Range is six miles. Huh? An Ash Origami? Are you kidding me? Comparing with the database. No matching data found. It's an unknown type of Ash Origami. Reverse our heading and retreat at full speed. We need to withdraw from this area immediately. 
We're too late. It's already on us. It's so fast. Ash Origami on a collision course. What did you say? Impact with rear cargo containers. Some are destroyed. Is there something it wants in our cargo? It won't stay away from the containers. They can't withstand anymore. Ah! Was that Claire? Container is breached. Ash Origami is inside. Just not our day. Let's move. Are you all right? <sighs> the container is... Don't be stupid. Think about yourself. Damn the cargo! Protecting that cargo is the duty entrusted to me. Uh, there is an ash origami in that container. Don't just waltz in there. Uh, what? Okay? Hey, come on, wake up. Live, damn it. You have to live. <laughs> ah. Whoa! Are they alive? You're awake. Why did you have to worry me like that? Ma'am, our sleeping passenger awoke just now. Whoa, whoa. Take it easy. You've been out for three days. You've got quite a fan club now. <laughs> I would never have guessed that Gleipnir was using us to ship human cargo. I thought the reward was suspiciously generous, but I bought into it anyway. Is that kid human, or...? When the Ash Origami attacked, we recorded a huge resonance phenomenon emanating from the container. If we consider that this child was at the center... I saw it with my own eyes. Somehow that kid did something that healed our friend's wounds. That sort of power? goes well beyond human. Listen, Claire. All of the people you see here are authorized personnel. Could you at least tell us what you know about this? <laughs> mm -hmm. She is the hope of humanity against the Ashlands. Huh? We were told the contents of that container could carry humanity into the future. That it was potential. So, according to Gleipnir, this girl is the hope of humanity. I was certain it had to be a new type of god arc, or something like that. Nevertheless, it is still my mission to safely deliver the container's contents, ma'am. Please return to course and continue to mission HQ. Hold on, wait a sec. Are they gonna use that girl as a guinea pig or something? No way! That's not gonna happen! <sighs> She saved our comrade's life! Take it easy, Zeke. It's Claire's job, not ours. Uh, come on, that's... I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> we are going to fulfill our contract. Let's set out towards Mission HQ as scheduled. The girl is already out, however, and the container is damaged beyond repair. 
There may have been a shipping accident, but she's still a passenger on my vessel. As such, we'll treat her as we would any passenger. How does that sound, Claire? My assignment is to deliver her safely to her destination. But I have no specific orders as to how she should be transported. Great! So, uh, do you think now we could stop calling her the girl or that kid or whatever? Why don't we think of a name for her, then? So... cute. What would be a good name for her? I'm really bad at this, so you decide. Theme. You like that one? It suits her nicely. Theme. It has a sweet sound to it. Theme. Theme. It definitely fits. Theme. <laughs> Are you happy with that name? Theme. Theme. <laughs> Ice factor balance and metabolism are stable. Good. We should be all right, for the time being at least. You heal incredibly quickly, even if you did get patched up by Feem. It looks like Feem held off the corruption caused by devouring. She's really taken a shine to you. You're an intriguing character, to be sure. Hmm. Feem is... Sorry, it's nothing. <laughs> we have an emergency! What is it? Ash Origami approaching from outside visual range! What? Again? But we just ran into one like five seconds ago! It's like they're being lured to us. No. It's turned toward us and is closing in at high speed. It's coming in too fast! Ma'am, what's the plan? Return immediately. What? Highest factor function dropping rapidly. Vitals are at critical. Someone get them out! Damn it! What can we do? Is this... engage?
to be honest, I still find it shocking that you can defeat such enormous creatures as the Ash Aragami. And with a single squad at that. I think it may be... No, it certainly is a world first. It almost goes beyond awe and into fear. Just what on earth are you anyway? And that doesn't even touch on Feem's abilities. While well, I can't yet be certain, I can take an educated guess. She's a humanoid origami. An origami that has evolved to take on the form and characteristics of a human. There have been reports of such cases since the Calamity, but all were discovered post-mortem. It's hard to believe we have a living specimen right here. It would seem that Gleipnir had some ulterior motive in disguising her as cargo. But we don't have enough information. Any discussion of it now would confuse things and lead to erroneous conclusions. Anyway, Feme is Feme. There's no reason to single her out or treat her differently from the rest of the crew. I think we have an understanding, yes? We'll soon be arriving at our port, Chrysanthemum. It's only been a short while we've worked with you, but we appreciate your help. You'll be paid what you're owed for your services, so don't worry. Friends are hard to come by, but if we're still alive, then we'll see each other again. You are aware that your ownership rights remain in the possession of Port Pennywort? The port may be gone, but that doesn't invalidate the contract. We have just received an official request to return you from the Governor of Pennywort. Gleipnir will be mediating the delivery from Port Chrysanthemum to Port Pennywort. Yes, that's right. It's the way of the times we're in. When things are chaotic, you need to stick to the rules. We will fulfill our contractual obligation to transport Fiend to Gleipnir. I imagine your contracts will be revised and you'll find work at new ports. So this deal between us will last only until we reach Chrysanthemum. So, please, let's make it count. We are now arriving at the port's underground entrance. So this is... Hilda's port. Awesome! It is fairly pleasant, isn't it? Oh look! The seeds we planted are starting to come up, ma'am. My... Time really does fly, doesn't it? Whoa! Are those real strawberries? Ma'am! It's nice to be home. Did you bring presents? <sighs> Nothing again? You're so forgetful, ma'am. Got you. <laughs> Ta-da! Here you are. Oh, wow! This is great! Oh! Thank you! You're the best, ma'am! How do you find this kind of stuff? Good instincts. Things circulate. They eventually surface, even if you can't purchase them openly. Wow. You're pretty in the know. For an adult. <laughs> Compared to some, perhaps. Okay, everyone! Over here! Okay! Anything fun happen while I was gone? You should have seen what he did. It was so funny. I told you not to tell. I'm gonna tell her about you. <laughs> I had no idea there were any ports like this. It took longer than I expected to come this far, but 
This place is my pride and joy. It means everything to me. Hilda. You're taking in orphans, aren't you? That I am. Though not all of them are here because of that. There are kids like Lulu here, too. I would like to have her working here as well. Someday. Yeah. It would be great if the kids from our port could stay here, too. That's not possible, Hugo. As it stands right now, your port contracts are still legally binding, and that includes all of the children. Yeah, I understand. It's just that I saw all this and, you know. Hugo. But we've got our own path to walk. Thanks, Hilda, for showing me all of this. Hilda's pretty impressive. I think I'm beginning to understand what it means to have a port of your own. Honestly, it's a bit of a shock, seeing all of this. Yep, that's the plan. The first thing we need to do is gain our freedom. That's the issue. I was thinking of taking a gamble. The world is made up of rules and contracts. We just need to squeeze in there. We can use our unique talents as leverage. If we've got the tools, we can work. Just stand there and look tough. You are my right hand in all of this, after all. Right, then we better get going. Please, I'm begging you! Look me in the eye, Hugo. Doing this would mean entering into a contract with the Governor of Pennywort for the exclusive use of Hugo and the other ages. I'm afraid I don't see a chance of winning here. Even if negotiation worked, the sum demanded by your port would be astronomical. You must have realized that before you even asked, Hugo. Giving them the information collected on the course we cleared for you should be enough to cover whatever fee they want. Or if not that, you can always take it out of what you owe us for our work. And? Is that it? Of course, you did open up a route for us. However, it wasn't your group working alone that got it cleared. We do understand each other, right? Yo, Keith! How about if we threw this in, ma'am? Analysis of the Ash Origami? When were you able to do this? <laughs> Here. Everything I could find relating to Baron and the acceleration trigger is recorded in these documents. This... this is... We're gonna grow up and work for you, Hilda. Even if it doesn't taste good, we'll clean our plates and get big and strong. You sweet kids. I know it's not enough, but I'm sure you know that we are 100% serious. We are willing to work to win our future. Just like you built yours. Uh, Ma'am, what do you think? I admire the sentiment, but... Mm. Hilda, listen. You really do need us. Well, you need our friend and their ability, at least. What do you mean? Theme's presence is attracting Ash Aragami. You know it is. When did you...? So, she is. <laughs> if you continue with this job, you'll literally be carrying that risk with you. Right now, the only people in the world who can face off against Ash Aragami are our friend and us. I see. So that's what you're touting as your real value in this deal? We can be your shield if it costs us everything. In exchange, you only have to give us a chance. 
There's no guarantee that you'll always be able to handle the Asharagami. Your reasoning relies on the assumption that you'll survive, that your hope and determination will carry you through this. That is a risky investment. We'll win, even if it kills us. Just give us the chance. I can't do that. Hilda! Dying isn't an option. Huh? You have to survive until we complete our contracted delivery of Feem. With that as a prerequisite, I will accept a contract with you. As collateral, I'll place the children who are unable to fight into my orphanage. You... From here on out, I will be the client of your contract. Consider me a patron, if you will, my idealistic hounds. I, uh... Yeah, I'd call that a deal. How are you doing? I got word from the owner. You officially belong to this ship now, do you? Never thought that I, of all people, would be out running around the field like that. Thanks to that work contract between you guys and the owner, it looks like I'm actually needed out there. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna have to pull my weight. I don't imagine I'm going to make much of a splash compared to you kids. But it looks like, for whatever reason, we have to dance with some more scary origami. Although humans are scarier than origami, if you ask me. Oh, sorry, my bad. Droning on and on like that is my one true flaw. On the field, I'll give every ounce of what I have, so you can count on me. You're blessed. Where did you come from? Uh. Our ship is waiting nearby. Please, won't you join me? Come, we can take you back to your own vessel. Who are you? Can't let strangers take you away. Claire told me. There's no need to worry. I have made it my mission to offer a helping hand to young ages. They are the ones who represent our future. Conference for the Fenrir HQ Reclamation Initiative. Yes, it will be held soon at Gleipnir HQ to give an outline of the project. They're trying to reclaim Fenrir HQ, huh? Isn't it basically a hive of Ashborn? You certainly know a lot about it, don't you? But clearly there's something there that they think is worth the risk. Wait, since it's a conference, that means a lot of other caravans will be there too, right? I'd imagine so. From what I hear, pretty much every port in this area will be sending caravans for it. Thanks for that, Hilda. Hmm? Well, if you're telling us about this, then you have something in mind, right? Yes, the conference. And there's the initiative. I'm going to market our skills there. Hmm. Huh. Very shrewd. The people going to the conference will be dying for information about Ashbourne. What are you up to? Nothing to worry about. 
All right, let's do this. <laughs> you and Veeam are like two peas in a pod, aren't you? We'll be at HQ soon. <sighs> Once we're there, my job will be done. Uh, yeah. Claire, your job? <laughs> yeah, it's almost over. Um, um, Claire did a good job. Theme. The caravan's mission will be over soon, won't it? You really didn't mind me joining you? I feel like I'm excess baggage. Thanks. I'm lucky I ran into you guys out there. But... Being done with the mission means saying goodbye to Feem as well. <laughs> Once we arrive at Gleipnir's ports, our job is gonna be all done. We need to celebrate! Yeah... I know. So get this. Our mission is to deliver Feem, right? But none of us think of Feem as cargo. There's gotta be something we can do. Man, I'm dumb as a brick. I'm useless for this kind of thing. It sucks. Damn it. We're about to arrive at HQ. At last, we'll finally have our freedom. But we still have some homework left to do, don't we? Uh, yeah. We're definitely not going to let it end here. To be honest, I don't know what we can do. I'm out of ideas at the moment. But we're not giving up, that's for sure. One big concern for us is Claire. She is a member of Gleipnir. I just hope she's not too devoted. Hey, Feem told me to come. Do you know what's going on? So, no one actually knows why we're all gathered here? Let's get a move on! We don't want to leave her hanging. Huh? Holy moly! What's going on? Did you do this all on your own, Veeam? Yep. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Incredible. So, what's this surprise? <laughs> you all finished your job! Congratulations! No, wait. Congratulations! Look! Presents! My, my. Is that us? Yeah, it is. This is... me? It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? Oh, but that's Zeke for sure. Yeah, this one, right? Wait up. How do you know? Well, I mean... You mean what? Only one of them has a banana on its head. Huh? Is that what I look like to you? <laughs> Feem has a good eye. <laughs> it's cause you all finished your jobs. That's good, right? I'm very happy too. Huh? Uh, Feem, do... Do you not understand what that means? When we finish our job, you'll... <sighs> I'm... I'm no good at this kind of thing. Fiem. Hey, everyone! Sorry about the wait, but here's... Cake? I... Did... 
Did something happen? I just heard there was a party and... It's all right. Let's try this cake. Right, Feem? Yeah! Party! Party! Feem. Hey, could you? Uh, sure. No, oh, uh, I'll go get some plates. Feem is one of our friends. That'll never change, will it? I'm terribly sorry. We did not intend to open the cargo, but... Well, Ash Aragami, our stubborn pests, I'd say you did quite well considering. <laughs> Are you really certain this girl should be treated as cargo? In any case, she isn't even supposed to be delivered yet. That's enough. A caravan owner isn't in a position to question my judgment. <sighs> Stand by for further instructions. Where are you taking Feem? What are you doing? A wild beast shouldn't go without a muzzle. Above all, this thing is an origami, remember? This... thing? Out of the way, you stray dogs. We're done. Don't you dare step out of line ever again. Hmm? Move it! <laughs> I hope you understand now. Scram! Way to keep your head. Seem. This vessel is now preparing to dock. Please brace for impact. Repeat. This vessel is now preparing to dock. We're this not gonna leave it at that, are we? To dock. Please brace for impact. Repeat. This vessel is now preparing to dock. I imagined something like that could happen, but I didn't expect to actually witness it. You actually enjoy it, don't you? A little rashness. <laughs> yes, well, I guess you've got me figured out. But are you sure this is a good idea? What if someone gets hurt? That's what us hounds are for. Besides, we have a secret weapon. But that would mean... Amy, let it go. I don't think this one's going to listen. But, ma'am... Listen up, everyone. We're taking Feem back. Huh? We've intercepted the destination of the transport carrying her. We're gonna head over there right now. Really? The whole caravan? They'll see us coming, you know. We'll keep our distance. Once we get close enough, we'll complete the journey on foot. Hike across the Ashlands? 
Are you serious? If it's for Feem, I don't mind at all. <laughs> it has the ring of madness to it. Yeah. And that's why us hounds will be the ones carrying this out. I don't mind going, but you want us to be trespassers? I mean, it can't be that easy to sneak on board. Don't worry. We've got Ash Aragami for that. Wait, what do you mean, we've got Ash Aragami? From what we've seen during her time traveling with us, we know that the Ash Aragami will go after Feem. That's true. The Ash Aragami definitely seemed to be fixated on her. I thought we were running into too many of them. So they were getting lured to us because of Feem. I get it. And you'll take advantage of that. That's right. We're going to use the chaos of an attack as our cover. You guys will help them defend the transport. Meanwhile, you will make off with Feem. You'll just happen to be in the neighborhood when the Aragami attack. Okay, fine. But how do we know the Ash Aragami will show up when we need him? Wait, you guys? What are you going to be doing? Taking a walk with the Ash Aragami, of course. I'll be leading them to the transport. Man, are you completely mental? Hey, I'll figure something out. Is there any way I could help? <sighs> Just pretend you know nothing about what we've been discussing here. That will be enough. It would be very damaging to you if your participation was found out. Then, why did you tell me all about it? You could have just kept it between those involved. We're not going to hide things from friends, even if we have reason to. I could inform Gleipnir in secret. You must know that. No, you're not the type. Is she? All right, team. That's all. Hilda, I'm borrowing a car. Don't let anyone get hurt. And that includes you. Got it. Thanks. All right, everyone, start getting ready. <laughs> there it is! It's Hugo's signal! Right. Let's see what he's got. Approaching trailer, what is your affiliation? We are on an important transport mission. State your affiliation or be exterminated. I see. Well, we have an important package of our own. I'll make sure you receive it. Alert! Ash Aragami in pursuit of unidentified trailer. Hmm? What?
Here goes! Time to end this! Crap! Oh. There's Reckless, and then there's Hugo. Everyone, get ready to move out! Understood. Now headed toward the fallen container. It looks like she's okay. Great, now let's skedaddle. Hold it. Is something up? Be quiet. Too late. It's located us. Ashbourne. Here it comes. That sure was a hell of an entrance, Claire. I give you 10 out of 10 for that one. I'm just glad I made it in time. You did well. Our mission was a success. It looks like we managed to survive again, Hugo. <laughs> yeah, it seems we both had our share of bad luck on that one. From what I hear, the folks on the transport are all safe, though. How about that? We're all heroes who rescued a transport from the fearsome Ash Aragami. Hugo? That's like firefighter arson. Come on, let's not get technical. More importantly, though, Claire, are you sure about this? Yes, I made my decision. All right. I just wanted to be sure. Yep. Made him barren. Oh. Are you all right? It was scary. 
You've only just gotten back with Feem, and we've already had a call come through from Gleipnir. No doubt it's about her. Yep, go figure. Don't worry. Everything's going exactly as we planned. Now is when things will really start moving. Be ready. There can be no room for leniency. That's gonna be your answer, is it? Watch what you say, Hugo. However, the decision does seem lopsided to me. We applaud the way that the cargo was safeguarded from Ash Aragami during its arduous journey to reach us. The response to the assault on the transport was handled admirably. If that's the case, Despite those achievements, the unveiling of the cargo manifest was a major breach of our contract. Furthermore, according to a detailed report from Inukai, the highly classified cargo was improperly handled, greatly reducing its usefulness to us as a specimen. There are no excuses for this. Damn, that bastard Inukai. Gleipnir will begin the process of seeking damages from Chrysanthemum. We will press charges of wrongdoing under Ashland Navigation Law for this outrage. As for you ages, you can expect to meet a firing squad. This incident was the result of my personal mismanagement. It was my responsibility. They are not at fault. In fact, they risked their lives to protect... You are a scion of House Victorious. You should know that I owe a certain debt to your father for his guidance. Wait quietly during these proceedings. I won't make this hard for you. I'm telling you that I'm the one responsible. <laughs> Very well, I'll speak frankly. You absolutely do not have the power to take responsibility for this. You owe your very life to House Victorious. Avoid any and all deeds that would sully that name. Could it be that you are simply failing to comprehend your own true value? <laughs> what is it? Sir, a large ash origami has broken through our second cordon and is approaching at high speed. What's that? Oh man, that's a real shame. Ash origami are tough to crack. Listen, all of you, go out and fight that ash origami. You can at least buy us some time. No thanks. We've got a date with a firing squad, remember? He's right. A quick execution does sound a lot better than being eaten by an origami. You're... you're in no position to... How about if the ash origami were defeated and you were safe again? Would you reconsider your decision then? Defeated? That is absolutely impossible. It's a large ash origami. By my family's name, I will defeat it. Alongside my companions. I know that look. The daughter of the great man Randall Victorious has most certainly inherited her father's valor. I am currently away from headquarters, so you will have to forgive my greeting you remotely. Allow me to introduce myself. Abraham Gadolin, Chief Commander of Gleipnir, at your service. Uh, governor General Gadolin? Who? Oh. What's a Governor General want with us? I must admit it. We lack the capability to deal with that Ash Aragami. Thus, would you companions not lend us your strength in this time of need? Listen, Governor General. We don't have a problem with helping you, but we're going to need collateral. We'd be risking our lives. You can offer us appropriate compensation? I overheard your earlier conversation. I will bargain in good faith. Governor General, do we have your word on this? That will depend upon the results. The first condition is survival. Okay then. We have ourselves a deal. Now, sit back and watch what we can do.
actually managing to defeat a large Ash Aragami. Unbelievable. What do you intend to do, Governor General? We now have proof that our strategy can succeed. Hmm? The power to eradicate even Ash Aragami. Indeed, it is the final peace we've sought. So, you're the Governor General? Well, what did you think? You were watching. You saw us fight, right? The results were marvelous. That and your spirit, conviction, and indomitable will. In a world choked by despair, your strength of will is like a beam of light toward the future. And then there is your prowess on the field of battle. A determined heart needs a sword to defend it. In such times where schemes whirl within schemes, what is to be trusted but one's own might? It would be regrettable to ruin such potential through a temporary lapse in judgment. So that means you're letting us go, right? Yes, naturally. That's not all, though. I want you to entrust Feem to us. I'm willing to bet that you guys have noticed by now, but there's something about her that attracts Ashbourne. Yes, taking all observations into account, we can conclude this. There can be no doubt that Ash Aragami possess a powerful desire to devour humanoid Aragami. We're the only ones who can keep Feem safe. Very well. We shall place Feem in your care. Your performance in battle did justice to the name Victorious. Your words are too kind. However... This is an organization. We can't give preferential treatment to one group or individual member. There is an objective reason behind that. What would that be? We will soon summon caravans from all ports for a grand assembly, a conference. There, we will be announcing a large-scale operation. We would like for you to join it. You mean the Fenrir HQ Reclamation Initiative? Yes, precisely. You can count on us for this endeavor. My thanks, Hilda. You have grown admirably. Sir. Hmm? Allow me to express our gratitude once more. We are deeply grateful for you rescuing our people. I will contact you later regarding the operation's details. I have high hopes. What is the meaning of this? You just handed over Specimen 1 without contacting me at all! It will be safer in their hands for now. Cells from the Specimen have been taken. It will not impede Odin's technology verification. Besides, though it may be in origami, it appears human. Using it as a guinea pig would be painful for anyone. Wouldn't you agree? Quite. This is Ayn. He's another port owner, and we've done a lot of business together over the years. Hi, I'm Ayn. I run Port Dusty Miller out on the frontier. That armlet? You're a god eater? Yeah, I guess so. Hilda told me about you. She said you were collecting intel on Ashbourne. Here.
Look at that. You've put together quite the collection here. Sorry, but it won't come cheap. I'll give you a fair price. Two billion? Th that can't be right. Knock it off, man. Don't look surprised. It'll hurt us in the negotiations. Oh, man. I've never seen that many zeros. <gasps> How many candies can that buy? A whole lot. <laughs> this information will make navigating the Ashlands a hell of a lot safer. It's appropriate when you consider the cost of a failed voyage. That may be true, but why give such a good deal to complete strangers? Hilda being the one introducing you is one reason. Deals with her never go wrong. Let me think. Uh, I know. I suppose you could say that I admire your brazenness. That's all. Huh. No complaints here. We'll make updates to any existing information for free, but new information is going to cost you. Is that okay? Works for me. Sign here. So, you're the ship's ace, huh? I've heard you fight like a demon. She seems to like you. Don't let her get out of your sight, okay? I like that glint. Does this work? It sure does. We have ourselves a contract. If you want, you can wait to send the data until after you've confirmed payment. This means a lot to me, Ein. It means even more to me. Thanks for introducing such valuable new partners. Okay. Guys, we are totally loaded now! Two billion! What should we buy? Candy! Candy! This money is going toward our future. Sorry, everyone, but I hope you'll all understand. Candy! Oh, there he is. Our straight-laced Hugo. We're already fully aware, buddy. At least let us fantasize about it for a bit before we lock it away. You can be so confusing. <laughs> and buy the kids some candy, would you? Candy! Buy the kids some! <laughs> <laughs> First, allow me to thank all of you for answering our call. The Ashlands are expanding. At the current rate, the extinction of humanity is only a matter of time. Food, commodities, clean land. These resources are near exhaustion. We can brook no further delay. Decisive action must be taken. So as of today, we are enacting the Fenrir HQ Reclamation Initiative. Fenrir HQ disappeared. It was buried in the ash. Inside are not only vast resources, but also technologies lost in the calamity. We've set our sights on but one of them. Sleeping in a factory deep beneath Fenrir lies the final weapon against the Aragami. Odin, this god made to annihilate all Aragami, will be found and reborn to cleanse the Ashlands. We will restore humanity's lost knowledge and conquer the threat of Ash forever. Locations have been carefully Is that even possible? So that each of your caravans can Arguments were put defense. forth that Odin could have anti-ash applications. 
But if I recall correctly, the problem came down to securing a sufficient power source for something of that size. That kind of monster weapon's got a big belly to fill. Just like an origami. Governor General, we would like to voice a legitimate concern. Isn't that area a haven for Ash Aragami? Are you trying to send us on a suicide mission? If that is the case, I'm afraid we will have to turn you down. Damn right. Better send in some used up ages, cause we won't do it. Indeed. It is true we do not have the capacity to deal with Ash Aragami. Even a small Ashborn would have better than even odds against a full battalion. It would be fair to say that we have had no choice but to cower and shrink from their presence. Until now, that is. Now, one group has accomplished the impossible. With only a small squad, they successfully felled a large Ash Aragami. Against an Ashborn? Impossible. No way a handful of people would be a match for one of those monsters, right? Allow me to introduce Hilda Enriquez and our heroic soldiers. I heard the Chrysanthemum has some monstrously strong ages. But aren't those just kids? Yes, but there's just something about them. Wait, could it be that's... Hey, Hugo. Everybody's staring at us. Shouldn't we wave or something? Just stand there and be quiet. These fighters from the Chrysanthemum will be the suicide corps that spearheads this operation. It is a certainty that their might will carve us a path to Fenrir HQ. Whether or not to take part in this mission is your choice. We cannot compel you. If you are unable to rise to the task, you will be pulled from the mission to avoid endangering it. That is all for now. We will be sending out the official mission guidelines later. What's up? Sorry, it's nothing. The reclamation mission pretty much rides on our shoulders. Once we were imprisoned, and now we're at the center of the battle for humanity's future. It's a good chance to prove our worth. We don't have to wait anymore. We can move forward and take what we want. Nonsense. It's been your work. I never could have made it this far alone. It's thanks to you that I can fight. This will be a test of what we can really do. Let's show them all, shall we? Let's review your contract before we go into the Fenrir HQ Reclamation Initiative. The terms were to last until Fiend was delivered to HQ, right? Buy the ticket, take the ride. We're in this together. That won't do at all. People who have value have a right to take more. If you believe you have value, you have to keep pointing it out. Selling yourselves short won't make anyone happy. That really isn't what I meant. I'm aware of your financial situation. Just reduce our cut. 30% of the Roots royalties. We owe you for introducing us to Ayn. Now, we can afford to take care of ourselves and the kids on our own. It's nice having a strong right hand, isn't it? They call you the Devil of the Chrysanthemum. I can't sell my right hand, no matter the price. <laughs> I'm only teasing. Oh, a bit of an unusual mission came in. It's a request to investigate the Crimson Queen Resistance Group. I am told Dr. Inukai from Gleipnir sent the request. Though, since it's a special order from the Governor General himself, I don't know more. However, Crimson Queen activity has certainly increased lately. If you'd like to know more, would you talk to the owner directly? 
Hunting down a spy? Yes. There seems to be a traitor inside of Gleipnir. They're apparently working for the Crimson Queen and went missing in this area. So they want us to dig up the Crimson Queen's nest? Do you think it's really there? Investigating the area is part of the mission. We've got no information beyond that. Yeah, I figure as much. Are you up to it? I'm not happy doing something for Inukai, but I can't say no, can I? Thank you. We appreciate it. I've transferred our files on the Crimson Queen to the terminal, so take a look at them later. What the hell was that? Ash density doesn't spike like that normally. We're looking into it. An ash storm springing up out of nowhere. The Crimson Queen and ash storms. I don't like this. Sorry for the interruption, but I have Inukai on the radio. The radio? They must be pretty close then. Can you record it? Sorry, the signal has noise that prevents recording. I thought so. Fine, put him through. You really are nothing but trouble, aren't you? Dr. Inukai, you made this request. Do you have some business in Ash this dense? I've come to take care of the pawns of the Crimson Queen. In other words, you. Huh? What makes you think th The ash storm near the place you are operating. The disappearance of the target. Connecting you to the Crimson Queen is simple enough, isn't it? The people of Gleipnir aren't likely to swallow that line. <laughs> what do you know? Hilda ignores age handling rules and treats you like pets. If you were with any other caravan, they'd keep you locked up in the hold. Ignoring rules disrupts the system, which will impact our great mission of reclamation. Not only that, but I suspected you might have some contrary plan of your own. One that had to do with Hilda's connection to the Crimson Queen. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, has Hilda not told you yet? You'll have to pardon me. I thought that your relationship with Werner, Crimson Queen's leader, was publicly known. <sighs> what? Hilda, is that true? It was a long time ago. Now then, let's get down to business. Hand over the humanoid origami you've been keeping. If you refuse, an ash storm will take your sad little vessel. An ash storm? You can't... Control ash storms? I can, young Hugo. <laughs> I've heard rumors that the Crimson Queen has technology that can set off ash storms. Ah, then that means Inukai is the traitor. How astute. What do you plan to do with Fiend? Sell her to the Crimson Queen, obviously. They're my most valuable client, you see. All this for money? For my research. My current budget is meager. The Gleipnir fools have no appreciation. You have no right to... We're done talking. You're currently surrounded by origami that I've driven there with ash storms. Don't even try to escape. Got that? Make the delivery tomorrow morning, when the storm is settled. I'm sure you'd like to take some time to say farewell to the humanoid origami anyway. <laughs> the call has been cut off. Inukai is right. We appear to be surrounded by origami. Well, he isn't bluffing. We won't let him have Feem. We'll break through the origami. Right. We'll tear open a hole. Dr. Inukai has his eyes on us. It'll be a real race. Are you ready? Let me go! I'm innocent! Those from the Chrysanthemum are the real traitors! Arrest all of them! This is most unseemly, Inukai. We received the news of your support for the Crimson Queen from your own forked tongue. On this very vessel. What? What are you doing here, Governor General? Send Dr. Inukai to Mission HQ. Let go of me! Hands off! 
Without me, Gleipnir's technology will fall 20 years behind. Do you want that, Governor General? Accept your punishment, Inukai. Let go! Get off of me! <coughs> Did we play our role well enough? You mean, you were just trying to sniff out a traitor? My deepest apologies for endangering you. You will be awarded with appropriate compensation. So this was all planned out from the moment we left Mission HQ. Come on, Hilda. You gotta tell us this stuff. I'm sorry for keeping this from all of you. I had to keep the plan a secret to protect the Governor General. Uh, I should have known that Inukai would have never let Feem go free. We had to help out in order to avoid future... problems. You have done us a great service. Your skills are most remarkable. Thank you, Hilda. My escort should arrive soon. I'm sorry I wasn't able to provide better quarters. To the contrary, being in a place like this suits me better than a stifling meeting room. Please, take good care of Hilda for me. We will. I do understand that you ages have a great burden to bear. However, in order that humanity might survive these desolate times, I'm afraid it is unavoidable. I beg your assistance in this. I must go, until we meet again. I'll walk with you. Hey, Hilda. Can we talk about Werner at some point? Sure. Let's talk once I get back. So, you and Werner were students in the same lab, is that it? Yes. He was a gifted researcher. Everyone had their eyes on him. He was intelligent, hardworking, and genuine. Those traits attracted me. The world was still being ravaged by Aragami, but for us, they were tranquil days. I had faith that we'd be side by side like that forever. Until the day came. The calamity? That's right. Everything changed on that day. My life, and his too. I understand. I didn't mean to keep this from you. Everyone has a secret or two. That's only natural. One other thing. What's your relation to the Governor General? It's something I noticed before. You two seem to go a long way back. That's because... Werner is the Governor General's son. Huh? So this is all a father-son quarrel? Everyone in the area who survived the Calamity owes it to the Governor General and Gleipnir. But there were many sacrifices as well. That includes the existence of ages. Werner could never accept those sacrifices. He threw himself into the fray to protect the weak who were written off by Gleipnir. And then he formed the Crimson Queen. Yes, but I wonder if there wasn't a way to stop him. If I had been braver, like all of you, maybe things could have been different. If I could stand up to the world's despair, You should listen, Hilda. You really did fight in your own way. Your port is a paradise. And this ship... You've got ages, regular god-eaters, and a mess of kids. Everyone does what they can and helps open the door to a new tomorrow. We might not be related, but we're a family. All of that is here now because you never gave up. You kept fighting. <sighs> Thank you. You're both right. We need to look toward the future, not the past. Let's head on home, Hilda. We don't want to get surrounded by Aragami again. Right. Let's go home. Everyone, to your stations. This vessel is returning to Mission HQ. Hey, 
Look around. Baron, the Dusty Miller. Every major caravan is here. Yeah, you're right. Even the Dusty Miller's owner, Ein himself, is joining in on this. I heard that he normally stays out of combat. Yeah, but Ein is pretty seasoned though, right? He's a normal god-eater. But I hear he can work in the Ashlands without bias factor attunement. That can't be true. That's monstrous. Well, speaking of monsters, the Devil of the Chrysanthemum is here, too. Is that the one? Such a normal-looking person can fight and defeat Ashborn? That's just plain frightening. Shh. The Governor General is here. At 1600 hours, we begin the Fenrir HQ Reclamation Initiative. There is little left to say on the matter, other than that we must succeed for the sake of humanity's future. I will now present an outline of the operation. The mission will be broken into three phases that will proceed sequentially. We have prepared three routes across the Ashlands above the presumed position of Fenrir HQ. The first phase will be an attack by multiple caravans on each of these routes. Once these routes are secure, support forces will follow up to reinforce our positions there. Delivering supplies to our caravans at the front lines will be phase two. Once we have completed these preparations, our forces will be reorganized. In the third phase, we will journey into the depths of the ash until we reach Fenrir HQ. Which of the routes is ours? As I explained earlier, the elimination of any ash origami will be vital to the operation. We have surveys that give us a rough image of the Ash Origami's expected territory. The north-south route will skirt around this area. As such, it will be both the most difficult and the most important route of the three. Caravan Chrysanthemum, we are counting on you and your crew to be at your best. Also supporting them in this effort will be the crew from Caravan Baron. Phase two will go to the Dusty Miller. They will be demonstrating the power of their large-scale transportation fleet in this endeavor. Finally, in phase three, our Gleipnir elites will coordinate with all forces to ensure victory. That is all. Please return to your caravans and begin the preparations for your tasks. I pray for your success. It's been a while. What do you want with me now? There were whispers that acceleration trigger information was going around, but... You're here to kill me? I'm only here to say hello. We're cooperating in the reclamation project. But if Baron were to incur any losses, thoughts may change. You won't touch my vessel. <laughs> do you think you can best your master? We'll meet again. These depths are nastier than I'd imagined. Resonance radar analysis impossible. We're pretty much blind here. I thought we could go a little further until we needed to resupply. It looks like we need more information about the area before we can move to phase three. There's information on beacons in the depths? Are you sure? Why are the depths called the depths? Why can't information be found? The reason is that the entire area is being intentionally jammed by the Crimson Queen. Even Resonance Radar can't easily break through their jamming. That certainly sheds light on things. But how did you know? Baron has been connected with the Crimson Queen since I was there. If Baron has information on secret beacons in the depths, then... I see. I'll try to strike a deal with Baron. But I'm not sure they'll be upfront about their connections with the Crimson Queen. Anyway, thank you. What you told me is bound to be of help. I'm glad. And Lulu, don't get involved with Baron. You hear me? 
No matter what happens, nothing good will come of it. All right. What is it? Hilda Enriquez came looking for information. We said no over the air, but you told her, didn't you? <sighs> I want to make an offer. What's that? Give the humanoid origami to us. If you do that, we'll give you the route through the depths. <sighs> if you don't, we'll tell them to hit this vessel with an ash storm. That's not an offer, it's a threat. Who gave you this order? You already know the answer to that. It's Baron. You should know well enough how ash storms are created. Doesn't that bother you at all? Starting one means throwing away an age's life. Special chips installed in our armlets that turn ages into weapons. Baron technology. Baron provided that technology to the Crimson Queen and is performing trials with it. I don't have any response to that. My existence is fighting. That's it. I expect you to make the right decision. <sighs> you were listening in? This is my problem. Leave it to me. Where's Lulu? It looks like Lulu's signal has disappeared. She's not responding to calls either. What's going on? What? Is this a joke? Where's the humanoid origami? Would you really rather send your precious vessel to vanish in the ash? Let me negotiate. There's no room for any more negotiation. In that case... <laughs> you may be rotten, but you're just like the rest of us. You're willing to be a disposable pawn, eh? What's this about? She's ready to go into a fight she can't win. I don't care. Do what you have to do and make sure that their vessel is sunk. Got that? <sighs> Crush that cockroach. I have things to do. Hmm. Do your ears work? I told you to crush her. That crawling little cockroach. Shut up. Hmm? I said shut up. Bastard. Who do you think you are? This is a test of strength with everything on the line. Do not interfere. What did you say? Lulu. Your sword skill is impressive. You've grown quite strong, haven't you? Master... Idiot! You ages are nothing but cockroaches. Die here together! Fire! That's taken care of. What a waste. 
Here's the time. What? Master... Why? <sighs> you... You damn vermin! Shoot! Turn them to ash! Hello there. Hi. Sorry to be the bringer of bad news, but your guns are under our control. Zeke, seriously, I told you to stop spreading that info. What's your problem? Heroes like us are supposed to have some swagger, you know? You filthy maggots! That's... an ash storm generator. Now, die! It's you. Sorry we're late, Lulu. What the hell are you doing here? Let go of me! Your actions are in clear violation of Ashland Navigation Law. If I were you, I'd prepare for the worst. What's that? <laughs> you talk big for an age worm. A lawyer! Give me a lawyer! You can call one if you want, but I don't think any will actually come out to the Ashlands. <sighs> It's over, huh? What do you plan to do now? Return to where I belong. That's all. There's no place for you in Baron anymore. Live your life as you wish, wherever you please. Master. <sighs> she knew what would be waiting when she came back to Baron. But even then, she still decided to... She made the choice. I'm sorry that you had to get mixed up in all of this. No, you aren't. Huh? What you're sorry for, Lulu, is running off without telling us. That's right. No matter what the danger, we face it together. That's how it is with friends, right? <sighs> I'm... So sorry. Welcome home, Lulu. Good lord. You really did it this time, didn't you? The Baron Captain was arrested under Ashland Navigation Law. We handed him over to Gleipnir. At the same time, their vessel sent out the info Baron had on the beacons in the depths. That had to be Zeke and Keith. I've got to hand it to him for leaving no evidence. Baron could never admit to keeping such information, so they pinned it all on the captain. As you know, Baron is a strict port. I'm sure he'll be given a suitable punishment. And in the end, Baron has announced its withdrawal from the operation. That means we'll be setting out for Fenrir HQ on our own. Well... I suppose you could say we'll be better off without dead weight. That's enough of a tongue lashing. Be sure to talk to me before you act next time. The trek will begin once we're all organized. Phase three is about to begin. This is the final stage. I'm really counting on you. The radio's on the fritz. This is really thick. You gonna be okay? Doesn't this mess with normal god-eaters like you? Yes. However, even accounting for bias factors specialized for the Ashlands, we can't linger for any longer than is strictly necessary. Well then, we'll stay as long as we can. Huh? Wait. What? Are they ages? The Crimson Queen. Long time no see, bro. Uh, is that you, Neil? What are you doing with the Crimson Queen? Neil 
Is this the little brother you were telling us about? The one that went missing? Just listen for a bit, okay? If you've made it this far, then that means your mission is nearing its completion. Success is not far off. Congratulations. So, you're Werner? In the flesh. I am Werner Gadolin. I'm the founder and leader of the Crimson Queen. And what business does the Crimson Queen have with us? If you plan on hurting my comrades... I don't want any violence. I'm here to talk. Hear me out for a moment. Go on. What we've built here is a nation of ages. It is a place where we can live as human beings, free from the burdens of class and discrimination. Here, we have left the rot of the outside world behind, and we are building a land of principles. And going around setting off ash storms? Exactly what sort of principles are those? It is true, though regrettable, that some of our members could not overcome their desire for revenge against their former owners. You should understand. You should all understand. And who can blame them after being treated in the despicable way that ages are? You may hold me responsible for their actions. Though I failed to stop them, I do not support what they did. Vengeance only breeds more vengeance. However, now we have finally struggled free from the chains of hatred. Now that we have a safe haven, there's no reason for conflict. How is it that you can live out in the ash like that? Even ages can't stick it out long enough to live in it when the levels start getting this thick. It's because we have bias factor made from the humanoid origami cells. Thanks to its properties, we have near total resistance to the ash. From that bastard Inukai? Yes. We did become concerned when this cover with Gleipnir was compromised, and we lost access to the supply. But now, we have what we need. We do not forgive those who have persecuted and continue to persecute Aegis, but neither do we seek their destruction. We simply wish to create a paradise for ourselves, one where we can make our homes and live out our lives in peace. A place where people can be born, live their lives, have their own children, and pass away. That is the underlying purpose we seek as part of the Crimson Queen. <laughs> we know what you've been doing. You are ages but you've managed to grow so strong that even Gleipnir cannot ignore you. I ask you, will you not lend us that strength? Hugo, this place they're describing, what they're saying is... I have to admit, it does sound like a lofty goal. Come, be a part of it. Sorry but I'm afraid you'll have to ask someone else. We have a job to do. And you? I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. Do you agree with him? Very well. Then we will wait until you can give us your answer. Fenrir HQ is further ahead. You shouldn't have much trouble reaching it. But beware of the Infernal Lord who sleeps there. I pray for your victory. coming? No, nothing. Hold on. What's that?
What? Just one attack? Wait, what's going on here? That aura isn't normal at all. Have we met before? <laughs> I'm getting the feeling this isn't the time for a tea and a chat. What do we do, Hugo? We haven't seen anything like this before. We have to take this chance. You good? I can see it. Our future lies just ahead. We will get there. You and me. Everyone. Together. So, that's Fenrir HQ. I have confirmation. Route to Fenrir HQ established. The underground factory should be intact. The mission is a success. We really made it. Operation successful. It's finally over. Okay. Now, let's catch our breath. Congratulations, ma'am. It looks like we'll all be busy after this. Indeed. Thank you, Ricardo. You've done a wonderful job here, everyone. We've done it. We've finally opened a route to Fenrir HQ. Let's have you all come back home for now. Right. But Hilda, just give us a few minutes to rest first. We're all completely worn out after taking this one down. <laughs> Don't blame me if you get eaten by Ash Aragami. <laughs> Not gonna happen. We'll eat them all first. We're getting congratulatory messages from all the caravans. There are so many of them. They underestimated us, but they finally realized we're not just some pack of idiots. Yeah, you're right. We finally won back our freedom. This is where it begins. The dawn of our new day. Do you think that everybody else will be happy for us too? We'll all be parting ways soon, won't we? Are you heading back? Yes, my next mission still awaits. But I'll still come to visit sometimes. Yeah, we'll be waiting for you. Start moving. The kids are waiting for us back at the port. We're on our way home, guys. And so, the Fenrir HQ Reclamation Initiative ended in success. That night, they all celebrated the victory they had won for themselves. The festivities went on until the bright morning dawned. Gleipnir turned Fenrir HQ into a new base, and loudly proclaimed the rebirth of humanity. Hilda Enriquez laid claim to the vast reward her efforts had earned, and set off homeward to her port. The caravan ages used their own share of the rewards as capital to start down a new path for themselves. Spirits were high. It was the first time they had both the right and the means to live their lives as they pleased. And so, a month passed by.
Have you all changed a bit? Who, oh, us? Of course not. It's been a while since the reclamation mission. How has work been for you since then? We're off to a decent start, I guess. There are a lot of people out there who want info on the Ash Aragami. And new types of Ashborn keep cropping up, which is good for business, at least. But still, it's pretty dangerous work. Recently, we've been trying to come up with some other sources of revenue. How about you, Claire? Had any developments on the Ashlands Devouring project? Gleipnir has moved into Fenrir HQ now, and has gotten everything started up again. But it'll take a lot of time, money, and resources to make Odin fully operational. <laughs> Even Gleipnir gets no breaks in this world. What have you been doing all this time, Claire? Me? I, uh, started doing desk work. Technically, I should have been demoted or dismissed. But I think the Governor General pulled some strings. Seriously? They could never get rid of you. After all you did to reclaim HQ, you were Gleipnir's finest. <laughs> Thanks. But organizations run on rules. I was really busy with the transfer to the new HQ, but things have finally settled down. That must have been a lot of work. Nice job. Yeah. Though things aren't as exciting anymore. Not compared to working with you all, at least. I bet not. By the way, did you get a bit rounder? Are you saying I've put on weight? You do seem to have grown. Stop that! <laughs> Here you are. You want some too, Fim? Yeah. Here. Thanks. Uh, Claire? Hmm? Welcome home! <laughs> <laughs> Good to be back. Anyway, it's about that time. Let's all clean up, bathe, and get ready for bed. Huh? Already? But Claire just got here, man! Doing things normally is even more important on days like this. Oh, man. Any more straight-laced and you'd be a mummy. Listen, I wasn't the one who was nodding off during a mission because I stayed up too late. I wasn't nodding off. I was meditating. <laughs> the pillar of the family, isn't he? Yeah, he's a bit stuffy, though. I heard that. Now come on, help us clean up. What happened? <sighs> Take a look at this. At long last, humanity's ultimate weapon, Odin's technology to devour the Ashlands has been completed. However, that weapon requires support. Ages, those who have the ability to survive the Ashlands. Their bodies will provide Odin with the necessary catalyst to drive its function. Their bodies? To enable this weapon to devour the Ashlands, the age catalysts will be placed within Odin and expended. That's completely deranged. We are aware of the gravity of what we ask, and of the utter lack of compassion it entails. However, because I have been entrusted with humanity's future, it is my duty to say it. And I must say it myself, in my own words, to all age-compatible people. Ages, combine your power and become a blade that will cut through the darkness of these chaotic days. 
A new civilization will be built from your glory. After conducting extensive research and surveys, we have compiled a complete list of all registered age-compatible people in the region. That number is roughly 1,000. Seriously? What the hell is this? Is he telling us all to die? I give you my word, your praises will be sung for generations. You will forever be remembered by those you have saved. I know it will be a great sacrifice. However, to ensure the survival of humanity, we are resolved to execute this strategy. He's basically labeling any ages that don't go along with this as enemies of humankind. He's a coward. There isn't even anywhere for them to hide. <sighs> There are summons for you, as well. <laughs> Ma'am! We have just received an order to blockade the port. It looks like the perimeter of Port Chrysanthemum has already been surrounded by a number of Gleipnir ash crawlers. The Gleipnir forces aren't going to allow even a single mouse to slip away. The Blitzkrieg was well planned. Hilda, thank you for everything you've done. Speaking for all the ages here, we'll leave now. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Do you have some spare trailers you could sell us? Slow down. You can't let yourself slip on your first step. Time to think isn't a luxury we have. Amy, please open a call to the entire Chrysanthemum crew and all aged children. I have an important announcement I need to make. Uh, understood, ma'am. Hmm? Attention all crew aboard this vessel. Please assemble on the bridge immediately. On duty crew, cease work and report to the bridge within 10 minutes. I repeat. All crew aboard this vessel. You've all heard the message from Gleipnir by now. In a short time, I will be sending a reply on behalf of this port and Port Chrysanthemum's answer. is an outright refusal. We will not hand over a single age. Once all the ages have boarded this vessel, we're going to break through the perimeter Gleipnir has set up and secure our escape route. Whoa, hold on a sec. What's going to happen to your port after we do that? Economic sanctions or armed threats. Whatever happens, it will be completely cut off from everything. It's too dangerous. What's in it for you? It's my port, so I call the shots. Want to call me a traitor to mankind? Go ahead. But it's still my decision. I know everyone here feels the same. The kids here aren't so weak that they'd buckle under that pressure. God eaters, ages, ordinary people, and of course, Feem. No matter how different we look, or what we can do, we're all a family living here. I can't choose or discard anyone, nor do I have any intention of doing so. When it comes down to it, my soul is not up for sale. Your soul? Hilda. 
Hugo, tell me what you think. Not as an age, but as a member of this caravan's family. If someone demanded you sacrifice a member of your family, would you pick one out? My friend. Thanks, Hilda. We'll defend this vessel. Let them throw everything they can muster. But we won't let them lay a finger on it. Isn't that right? I'm coming with you. Claire? Are you sure? There's no going back this time. I think that a future with all of you is the right one for me. I'll live as a part of this family. to departure sequence. Energy flow from the main accumulator has been established. Now sealing ash bulkhead layers one and two. Resonance radar navigation link complete. Harmonization rate at 30, 60, 100%. Oracle sensor system is green. Ash density along our plotted course is 0.02 ppm with intolerance. The ash bulkheads are sealed, activating the whole bias field barrier. All systems are reading green. The chrysanthemum is ready to depart. The path that lies ahead of us will be a long and thorny one. But I'm certain that we can make our way through if we stick together. I, Hilda Enriquez, honor the decision each of you has made. And I pledge to give my all and work alongside you as we make our way. Ash Crawler Chrysanthemum. Casting off. That was a surprise. I really didn't think everyone on the Chrysanthemum would side with us. I mean, why would they stick their necks out for us? Spending so much time as an age infected me with negativity. I wonder if Zeke and Lulu were thinking the same thing. We're really lucky. You know that? We'll keep this ship safe, no matter what. Isn't that right? If you're the one making the choice, I could accept it. <laughs> That's what I thought. But I didn't think you'd defy Gleipnir. Sorry to drag you along. There's just something about those kids. <laughs> when it comes to that, I know you've got to be you. Thanks. Anyway, I sent out some false intel to buy some time. The port should be safe for now. But I also sent word about the situation to Ainsport on a secret line. Quick as ever. I'm impressed. I like to get the most troublesome work out of the way first. Sorry for putting you in a spot all the time. I put too much on your shoulders. Just be the inspiring leader that I know you are. That's all I want. Ricardo. And hey, a voyage like this is refreshing. So why not have a good time while we're at it? Right. Thanks, Ricardo. Our next port of call is going to be Ainz, right? Yes. Do we have a course? Assuming Gleipnir will have set up checkpoints to monitor and control movement, we only have one option available. Through the mountains. Through the mountains? But I thought that whole route had been put off limits. That's not a problem. You'll have us with you. And it's better than getting shot at by Gleipnir. Oh, that's right. The Age Eater. 
Age Eater? A type of Ashborn, and the reason this root is forbidden. It stubbornly hunts down ages. It's been a problem for a long time. Every caravan that has encountered that creature has lost the majority of its crew to it. Not a hardening tale, to say the least. The last known encounter was around here. Our course passes straight through that point. That's just great. Another damn monster. Yeah, well, we gotta keep going. Right. We can't turn back. Well, this won't be the first time we've rushed headlong into the flames together, will it? Just business as usual. Yeah, a regular ship of fools. That's us. So, that's that, Hilda. There's no time. Let's move. Message received and confirmed. Let's just hope we don't cross paths with an Age Eater. Armed revolts by Ages are happening in every port. And now they're joining the Crimson Queen. After being treated so unfairly and being told to give up their lives, who can blame them? That's not the only problem. Ages are killing themselves to cause ash storms as well. Baron created technology that forces Age Oracle cells to go berserk and activate ash. That technology spread through the black market. Some say Baron leaked it on purpose. Before, it was just extremists using it to make strikes on Gleipnir. But now, Ages all over employ it for suicide attacks. They feel trapped and want to protect their friends and family. In a time when everyone needs to work together, why are we fighting? Were they doing experiments or something back there? There were age armlets. Piles of them. Machine parts strewn all over, and a line of gigantic footprints. Do you think Odin is what left them? So many of them. What would I do if it was my little brother? When I saw it wasn't him, I was relieved. I was glad it wasn't him. Damn it. Yeah, you're right. What the hell's gonna happen next? It's you guys. Sick. You look really sad. You can eat some candy? Huh? Oh, thanks. So tell me, just what are we ages anyway? I've been thinking about it. We get forced into the age upgrade, then thrown into dangerous work. Then, as if that's not enough, they tell us to go die for the sake of humanity. I figured if we kept working with everyone, like we are now, eventually they would just forget about bossing us around, and we'd all end up being friends. Like, that one day, ages, regular god-eaters, and all the rest of the people out there would get used to each other and start getting along. But that's not the way it happened at all. Seek? Where can we even go at this point? All this tiptoeing around. So, say we just keep running away so Gleipnir won't catch us. Where are we gonna end up then? I keep thinking about it and thinking about it, but I have no idea what to do. I mean, I know I'm dumb. I can't figure it out, but... It all keeps spinning around in my head anyway. The Crimson Queen, 
Gleipnir, all of us here, everybody. What the hell are we supposed to do? Is there even anything? I don't have a single damn clue about any of it. Zeke, what do you want to do? Huh? You should do what you want to do, Zeke. I want you to be happy, Zeke. What I want to do. Here, is this the place? This general area is where the signal was lost. We should be close. That way. There's something that way. <laughs> I see it. It's an Ashborn. It's in combat with an unidentified God Eater. while transporting ages? There are a lot of replacements for you, but no one can take my place. Hurry up! Shut your damn mouth! Let's run away! G get back here! Ah! You stupid son of a... Hold on, bro! He's an enemy of us ages! Dirt for brains! Things have changed! There are no friends or enemies now! I have no idea what's right anymore! That leaves me no choice. The only thing I can do now is do what I think is right! Z. Nobody in this world that should just be left to die! Reckless. But it was really cool, right? Theme. You did what you wanted to, right? Yeah, I did. Here it comes. took a hell of a gamble running like that. 
The chaos will only intensify from here on in. It's no longer a problem any one caravan or even one port can cope with. So, what do you plan to do now? About that. Hmm, I hear you. The Dusty Miller will take on your ages. No, that's not necessary. You don't owe me a favor that big. Oh? Wasn't that the reason you came calling? What is it then? I want you to put me in contact with the Crimson Queen. Ah. I know you have dealings both above and below board. I thought you'd have a method of contacting them. That I might. What's your purpose in meeting with them? Yeah, why? You aren't thinking of teaming up with them or something, are you? I want to sit down and talk with Werner. At this point, the Crimson Queen may have the power needed to confront this situation with Gleipnir. If we can offer Gleipnir the adaptive technology that the Crimson Queen uses to resist Ash so successfully, we may be able to delay the conscription of Ages for a little while. Hmm, I see. It's not a bad plan, but I don't think Werner will go along with it. Between Gleipnir and the Crimson Queen, too much blood has been spilled. The flames of resentment still burn hot. I'll find some way to convince him. I have to. Hold on a moment! We've just picked up the signal. The Crimson Queen is broadcasting across Europe. You're kidding. I hope you can forgive and pay heed to this unexpected interruption from a stranger. My name is Werner Gadolin. As you can see, I am an age. I stand before you today to represent the age organization, the Crimson Queen. Our message is addressed to all ages, as well as those who believe we are not human. We seek to revive that long-standing tradition of humanity to defend the right to resist tyranny. Even if it must be done through violence, ages share this right. No matter the hardships, no matter the oppression we face, we of the Crimson Queen will unwaveringly pursue that future where we can live in peace and freedom. Our present efforts for liberty will provide a world of safety and security for those generations yet to come. To that end, we have made preparations to create a new world. Rouse yourselves from the nightmare of tyranny, my fellow ages. Rally together under the banner of the Crimson Queen. Consider this. If you are already willing to sacrifice your lives on behalf of those who enslave and persecute you, Instead, pledge yourselves to the advancement of all ages. Let your hearts sing in concert and build a new future. Out here, we are free. The Ashlands let us live like human beings. They are a soft cradle carrying us, a new breed of humanity, forward to an uncertain future. And to those of you of the old breed, you who have aligned yourselves with Gleipnir, consider your position and cease your foolish aggressions at once. The time of the ages is at hand. We will no longer endure our persecution idly. The Crimson Queen will unequivocally end it. Werner, what are you doing? Cradle to the new breed of humanity? Huh. How will Gleipnir respond? If they don't take it well, it could easily escalate to an out-and-out -out war. Out-and-out war? Yeah. Intense fighting that would involve everyone in this region. Everyone will feel pressured to align themselves with one of the two. 
Gleipnir, or the Crimson Queen. Damn it! Why do people always have to divide everyone up into groups? Friends? Enemies? Friends? Enemies? A war is brewing, and it'll be in the Ashlands. The fuse has already been lit. Now, the only question left for us is, what should we do? Hilda, what do you want to do? Hmm? You asked us to help you clear your route. You took us along with you. You're the reason we're all here. We'll support whatever you want to do. Yeah, I'd like to hear what you want to do. We're willing to follow your lead. What Hilda wants. <sighs> I... I want to try talking. I'm not ready to give up on that route yet. I'm going to meet with him. With Werner. Hmm. You've got it. I'll give my Crimson Queen contact a shot. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice! Now we can win this! Baron will ally with the Crimson Queen. They provided their own military technology and scientific research in the past. At first, they declared themselves neutral, but now they're acting. If they're joining with us, that means they think we'll be the victors. <laughs> the world is changing. Werner will lead us ages to salvation. Yes, this is great. I certainly never imagined that I'd hear from you. It's... good to see you again, Hilda. That announcement... you meant it? Of course I did. The time is ripe. We Ages are a new type of human adapted to the Ashlands. Our own unique history begins now. It makes no difference who you are. If you stand in our way, we'll fight you... and win. Werner, please, listen to me. These hands are already stained with blood. I can't go back to the way I was before with you. However, Hilda, there is still something you can do for us that will help to defuse this situation. What do you mean? My request may not be something you want to hear, but please, do take what I'm about to ask you as a sign of my faith in your convictions. And please, forgive me for asking this. Give the humanoid origami to Gleipnir. If you do, we may be able to persuade them to back off, and so avoid any unnecessary conflict. You are aware, aren't you? As we speak, Gleipnir is in a frenzy. Scouring the land to find and reclaim her. Why? Humanoid origami oracle cells are required in order to operate Odin. The plan to devour the Ashlands is completely dependent on them. What? Ages were deliberately chosen as a catalyst because they have the humanoid origami bias factor. As the source of the required material, a single humanoid origami will replace hundreds, no, thousands of ages as a catalyst. So you're suggesting that... That alone would be more than capable of obliterating the Ashlands and the region surrounding Fenrir HQ. Of course, both the humanoid origami and the Ashlands alike would be consumed in the process. But in exchange for one life, our world will be returned to us, cleansed, without the need for further bloodshed. You can't... No, no, that person... Can you tell me what he's saying? He uses too many hard words. I don't understand most of it. 
What's a humanoid origami? It's better if you don't know right now, Feem. I've gone too far down this path to stop now. I cannot turn back, but neither can I compel any of you to join me. We have all, in our own ways, fought long and hard against the injustice and indifference that are rife in the world in which we live. Amidst all this, I just wanted you all to know how things stand, plainly and truthfully. The decision is yours to make. <sighs> oh, this... this just isn't right at all. Zeke. Let's head home, Neil. We've made our decision. We have our own path to walk. N yeah. I need you to make sure you give Hilda your full support. Warner. Everybody looks so sad now. Do you all have tummy aches? received word from Ayn. Baron were supposed to support the Crimson Queen, but suddenly scrapped the idea. Now their secrets have been leaked to Gleipnir, including information on hideouts and allies. It appears Baron intended this betrayal from the beginning. Now, Crimson Queen members are offering their last resistance by causing ash storms. What will happen now? Attention, all Ashcrawler Chrysanthemum crew! We have just received news that Gleipnir has made an announcement. Assemble in the lobby immediately. I repeat, all crew, please assemble in the lobby immediately. An announcement? Let's go see what this is about. Fim, I need you to stay here, okay? Gleipnir just announced that they've annihilated the Crimson Queen? What is this? They must have faked it, right? It appears to be the truth, unfortunately. Here, this is the report. This morning, intel provided by Baron led Gleipnir security forces to locate and raid the Crimson Queen's base. The operation was a complete success. Gleipnir forces suffered zero casualties. The surrendering Crimson Queen forces were placed under arrest, then taken to Fenrir HQ. Hey, is that kid your... That's him, all right. Neil. Damn it! They've shipped him to Fenrir HQ. 
They're gonna use him to feed to Odin, aren't they? They said that members of the Crimson Queen involved with this criminal uprising would be put to use on the Odin project in lieu of an execution. Gleipnir's security forces made simultaneous strikes on other Crimson Queen hideouts in the region. This combination of attacks has rendered the entire organization powerless. What happened with Werner? Did he get away? If they had picked him up, you can be sure we'd be hearing all about Gleipnir's heroic victory. Yes. It looks like they haven't found him yet. They're offering a reward for information that leads to his capture. Werner. I... I am a humanoid origami. If I disappear, then everyone else... Looks like I might have overstretched myself a little. <sighs> Looks like I might have overstretched myself a little. The entire team was wiped out on the way to Point Alpha. No response from reinforcements. Where is Werner? Find him. All units, focus on the search. We will go no further. How disappointing. Well, Father, the time has come at last. Here I am. Come and get me. He's here. I have Werner's position. Capture him quickly. He may be a war criminal, but he's the Governor General's son. However, if you meet too much resistance... Roger that. Werner, throw down your god arc and surrender now! <laughs> that die was cast a long time ago. Now then... Do you think you're ready for the future? You bastard! You'll pay for that! Hold! Don't rush in! We'll use our guns to shoot him down! Fire! Now! Hold him down! This is the security unit. We confirm Werner's capture. Good work. Go ahead and restrain him and send him to HQ. <clears throat> Remaining units, keep pace moving northward to capture the Crimson Queen residential facility. The wounded and non-combatants spread over the field seem to be gathering there. It should be easy to subjugate them. When you mentioned non-combatants, did you mean... Women and children? Yeah, but they're all ages. They don't deserve pity. Our big buddy Odin is hungry. Don't let any of them escape. Roger that. Moving out immediately. You! Contemptible!
he's a monster. Wait. The ash there is quickly activating. I think Warner is on the verge of going berserk. Don't touch him. It'll cause an ash storm. Turn back now. You will go no further. <laughs> Fall back! You've killed so many of us. No, you'll pay for it! Idiot! Stop! You will... You will go... No further! He's... Going berserk! Ash has suddenly activated. All units in the area, retreat immediately. It's an ash storm! An ash storm is forming! Let's get out of here! Governor General, we have report that Werner has been apprehended. I see. Send word thanking the team responsible for their efforts in his capture. Sir, uh, well... What is it? As Werner was being captured, an ash storm broke out. The team has yet to report back. You're saying Werner started an ash storm? Yes. Looks that way, sir. That fool boy. Give me a report on the damage. Sir. The last of Warner's Crimson Queen resistance soldiers set off a series of small ash storms that are still increasing in size. They have been spaced out sporadically, centralized largely around major ports and Fenrir headquarters. Wait, what's that? It looks like the reported ash storms are all converging on the location where Werner was being captured. Has this grown to an ash tempest? At this rate, Fenrir HQ will be swallowed up completely. Why, this can't be. Is Werner still attempting to draw his people together? Is it malice towards us? Or perhaps it is both. Load everything we have into Odin. Everything? Are you sure? That's crazy. We haven't finished fine-tuning it. Orders from the Governor General. What's happening? At least tell us what's going on out there. It's an ash tempest. Werner conjured up a gigantic ash storm that's bound to lay waste to the entire world. What? We managed to conscript over 500 ages, use their strength to get Odin up and running. It doesn't matter if the parts don't fit perfectly. I know you can do it. You have to. If you can't, then we're all dead. So you mean Fiem lied to everybody? She said she was gonna go eat. I just figured it was gonna be with you all. There's an ash tempest. Even Fiem won't be able to withstand these conditions. Where would Fiem want to go? Where, where would she go? Everyone, take a look at this. This is footage taken by an internal security camera the other day. Is that... It looks like Fiem's using a terminal. What? When on earth did she teach herself how to do that? Oh, she must be... Amy, I need you to bring up the search history for that terminal at that time. Right. Here it is. It's information on humanoid origami and Odin. <sighs> That's what I was afraid of. So what is she doing? 
Theme has figured out that she is the humanoid origami that Werner was talking about sacrificing. She's probably got it into her head that she'll be able to save us by offering herself as Odin's catalyst. No! It looks very probable. She also accessed recordings of the conversation with Werner. That means there's only one place she could be headed. Yeah, to Fenrir HQ. So she can save us from being sacrificed. And so there won't be any more reason for conflict. She's planning to board Odin. Then we head for Fenrir HQ. Hurry! In thinking of her only as a child, I forgot that she is an individual with her own will. Please be all right, Feem. Please don't let them take you back. This way. Were there any difficulties on your journey? No. I was surprised to learn you can speak, and also to hear of the request you came here to tell us. That you wish to take the place of all the ages scheduled to board Odin. Why the sudden decision to make this offer? I did lots and lots of studying. I see. That's very dedicated. I can help. I want everybody to be happy. If you become the Catalyst and board Odin, you will certainly disappear. Do you still wish to go through with it? Yeah. I really don't want to disappear. But they're my family. This time, I'm going to protect them. I can see that you've already made up your mind. Prepare the defenses for battle. Yes, we'll be sending her there soon. Your cooperation will save countless lives and bring a terrible war to a close. Do you have any last words you wish to say? Theme already came here, didn't she? Yes. Where did you send her? Where she wanted to go. So tell us where that is. You already know the answer. You complete bastard! How could you?! You already deployed Odin. Fenrir HQ is the last bastion of humanity. We cannot let it be destroyed. Let's go! Outside, everyone! Hold a moment. We don't have time. This is addressed to all of you. It's a letter. Is that from Veem? For Gleipnir, the utmost priority is defending Fenrir HQ. As a precaution, we have assembled a reserve unit of Ages and stationed them nearby. If you should fail, they will take your place as Odin's catalyst. I pray for your success. Um, 
happy I got to meet all of you. I love you all very much. Hugo, you're pretty scary sometimes, but you're always thinking about everybody else because you care about us. Lulu, you're so nice. And you always dress me in such pretty clothes. Zeke, you always manage to cheer me up. You're really good at that, but you also cheat at games too much. Ricardo, you always sneak away some candy to give me. Then Hilda always finds out somehow when she gets mad at you for it. Claire, you're always smiling at me. It makes me smile too. And you tell me that you love me. And, and then last... Daddy, I love you so much. You are the very best daddy. When you hold me, I always feel warm and safe. You're always there to hold me. In happy times and sad times, too. But you don't need to hold me anymore. Because, you know, I'm not a baby anymore. Is she... did she make it? Theme, is she all right? Do you read me? Come in! Amy, what is it? The first wave of the Ash Tempest has been wiped out. But the second wave is moving your way. There's a second wave now? I thought that was it! It is regrettable, but it seems that was all she could do. Governor General! That said, the storm's first wave is the hardest to handle, and she stopped it brilliantly. 
Reserve Odin unit, advance. D don't She's still alive? That's enough! You can't! Fiend, please don't! what it could endure. Stand down, all of you! Odin unit, advance! Use every last resource you have to stop Odin! Hold it! We ready to do this? <laughs> like we would turn back now. I mean, it is right in front of us. No point in bowing out now, is there? Themes inside that thing, isn't she? I have a request, Governor General. Don't take Feem away. Don't pull this family apart any further. You, of all people, should understand what this pain is like! Hilda, we must. There is no other way. It makes no difference if there is a way! Feem's waiting for us! We are not going to give up! We are in this until the very last! The time has come! We are saving Fiend! Then, we're all going home! And we're throwing a huge party! Together, as a family! Yeah! Where's Feem? What happened? I'm confirming now! This is... Engage? 
seems to be all of the Ashlands in the surrounding area. is spreading and the ash levels are falling along with it <laughs> what's happening report connection to the front line has been lost It's beautiful. Yeah. A soft, gentle light. She could hear us. All of us. Yeah. She wanted everything to have the chance to live. People, God-eaters, ages, every living thing, all throughout the Ashlands. She didn't just want it, she really went and did it. Theme, you're amazing. <laughs> Does that mean I get a treat? Oh yes, I'll be making a big special meal. anymore but 
I did work really hard. So, um, can I have a hug? Let's go home. Yeah. Let's go home now. We're going to start our new day together. And so, the operation to devour the Ashlands came to its close, along with the Crimson Queen conflict. Those young ages of Port Chrysanthemum caused a miracle. For just a moment, the awareness of every living being in the area connected together, bonded. Not only humans, God-eaters, and ages, but Aragami, and even the Ashlands themselves. It was a phenomenon similar to the Engage experienced by Aegis that remains unexplained. The one thing we do know for sure is that the activated Ash Blight within the Ash Tempest was rendered neutral. Putting aside what scientific knowledge could be gained from it, the event itself was powerful enough to make people reflect on what it means to live. Conditions for Aegis improved rapidly and Odin's operation, which depended on Aegis as fuel, was put on permanent hold. From the Ashlands, once a source of despair, grew a ray of hope raised by Age hands. The world had changed. They've come so far, and it seems the day they'll have a port of their own isn't much farther. They shifted the course of history. As the light they created falls down upon the path ahead of us, what kind of future will it reveal? <laughs>